about the story of Newton with the apple. This story has made an important change in the history, and which is the beginning of the universal law of gravitation. What is the universal law of gravitation? This is what I'm going to explain in this video. If, if there are two objects, A and B, with two masses M1 and M2, separated by a distance D, then the universal gravitation between them is given by this formula. F equal to G times the product of the two masses M1 and M2 over the square of the distance between them. And the G here is the universal gravitation constant, and its value is approximately equal to 6.673 times 10 raised to negative 11 Newton meter square over kilogram square. The gravitational force is directly proportional to the product of the masses M1 and M2 and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. This is the universal law of gravitation. So, if the mass M1 or M2 or both increase, the force of gravitational attraction between them also increase. And the more the distance increase, the less the force of gravity becomes. And now, let me ask you, if any two objects attract each other, why doesn't the object A get toward the object B? And why doesn't the object B get pulled towards the object A? The answer is simply logic. It's not only the object A and the object B are in space. There are other forces acting on, on, uh, on these objects. T take the gravitational force of, uh, of Earth, for instance. So as the mass of the Earth is much, much more than the two other masses, its acceleration is smaller, so that the, for the gravitational force between these objects is negligible compared to it. You will also get the answer by comparing accelerations. 